I'm Joe, and this is Debbie. Wait a minute. Oh, my. Hey, no. I'm oh, no. Joe. You're Joe, and I'm Debbie, and we're here for Real Watch List Plus. And we are reviewing over this series films that were nominated for multitudinous Oscars but didn't even win a one. I don't know if that's a real word. I just made it up, so it's fine. So today we're reviewing Gangs of New York, and I do want to say, Joe, yes. your outfit is very Victorian. It was 1862, the time for this movie. But yes. well, you know what? What? Let's go to the intro. Okay, so let's talk about our outfits today because we like to dress for the part. And I must say, you look like a fine gent from the upper crust in New York, which was uh -huh. the Skirmerhorn Dutch I family. I am a Skirmerhorn. And I'm a Skirmerhorn today because we're talking about the gangs in New York, Debbie, Debra, Debbie Deb. All right, and well, since I don't have all your finery, I am 1984 Studio 54 Gang of New York with the set of brass knuckles. Oh, jeez. Thought... And that's all I got today, but I do have an old top hat. Oh. It is 19th century. Yes, you do look like a 1980s gang. Actually, it reminds me, are we talking about the Warriors? Warriors! Yeah, come I out. think I was in a gang, but I can't really remember. And my memory, you know uh, how it is. Let's get to gangs. Okay. Of New let's talk about the yes. film. So, Joe, after we talked about what we're wearing, we got to get to our signature thing. Uh, yes, let's get right into it. We hold up our paddles Are you ready? and give our score, and then we duke it out. Okay. Ready? ready to flip? Three, two, one. Flip. Wow. Yes. Wow. A five. Oh, and a my God. D I'm going to change hat. you. I'm changing You're you. You're changing me? Why? Eight, please. All right. Well, first of all, uh, you want me to go into it? Okay, because I'm, Jump the, into it, I'm the intellectual You are the intellectual. Here. Okay, first of all, the cast in this movie is unbelievable. At the time... Wait a minute. Cameron Diaz? Wait a minute. Please, give no, no, her. No, no. I'm going to that because Cameron Diaz at the time was what I call the flavor of the month. Yeah, well, she made all these films and they had to put her in, but she wasn't so bad as Jenny. Yeah, but that flavor made me throw up. I mean, she didn't belong in this film. That whole storyline didn't belong in this whole film. The love story? Come on. It was supposed to be a portrayal of New York during that time period in which there were these rival gangs. Remember, the whole story was based on not remembering what happened during that period of well, time. First of all, let's give them, the audience, the basic plot. Oh, that's okay? you, Deb. All right. It's a story of Irish immigrants in New York City in the Five Point section of Brooklyn. There were five big gangs, and one was left by the real person, real life person called William Poole. But Daniel Day Lewis plays Bill the Butcher. The person that's against him is Leonardo DiCaprio because when he was a little boy, Bill the Butcher killed his father, who was Liam Neeson in like a five minute scene. And he comes back to avenge and kill Bill the Butcher. And that's where it goes from there. And it's the backdrop of the Civil War. Yeah, but you know also, that whole backdrop? You mentioned the first five minutes. So yeah. I'm watching this for the first five minutes. <laughs> First five minutes of a three hour film, please. 2.47. Oh, sorry. All I got right. it wrong by, can I add? I'm watching this opening scene. I'm watching these gangs converge and, I'm, and the, the shot pans out. You're seeing the five points. And I'm thinking, first of all, the set looks like it's part of Disney World. And then I'm thinking, they're gonna break out in song. It's gonna be a musical. It's gonna be like, <laughs> newsies, you know? Remember, Look at Joe, me, I'm, I'm the king of New York. Songs. I'm like, it was so, not believable. It looks so fake. And Martin Scorsese spent a lot of time. Matter of fact, it was shot in Rome in Cine Cheetah Cinemas. Cine Cheetah Cinemas. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Where they shot Ben Hur. Right. But excuse me, it's, this is not Ben Hur. Well, one thing about it is Daniel Day Lewis, and, and people can hate me for this, but he was like the Hollywood royalty that everybody bowed down to Mecca mm. when Daniel Day was around. And actually, a really crazy thing is after he filmed Lincoln, which was his last picture, I believe. He retired, and you know what he's doing now? Washing dishes? He's a cobbler. A cobbler? He's making he's shoes. He's making apple cobblers? And he said that it was too much Did for you get to it, be people? in the business. Yeah, I got it, but you know, I'm trying to be like, give them some intellectual okay. thing about movies. I I intellectualize them, Go I'll ahead. try, but the thing is, he's a cobbler because he got so into it that he became the character, and even when Leo and Scorsese went out to dinner, mm -hmm. he was being Bill the Butcher in the restaurants at night. I will give you props for that, for Daniel Day-Lewis, because his acting was in incredible. I 
I actually, that was the only reason why I stayed through the film because I liked his portrayal as the butcher. Leonardo DiCaprio, no, go. I, I'm, I'm tired of him too. I agree with you totally about Cameron Diaz. Totally I never, fine. I don't hate her, but I don't love her. And I just she think, was the wrong a bad casting. But see, they always cast flavors of the month. Like they have it now. Like you know, Timothy Shelmets and everything now. And he's, you know, it's a flavor of the month. What I liked. Okay, here are my likes. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me hold you right there, because I got to talk about one of our sponsors. All okay. right. All right. I want to tell everybody about the Jersey Shore Film Festival, which runs June twenty third to July seventh. It's a Platinum International Film Festival. We get about four hundred films. It runs in Asbury Park and other places nearby. Excellent parties, gorgeous films, international, and I'm one of the moderators and directors of the festival. So I hope everybody comes and sees it. We've got great stuff. And since we're 17 years running, we get great cinema. So go see so, yeah. the Jersey Shore Film Festival. All right, now back to the review. The teeth of all the actors? Yes. They're like, oh, wow, yeah, they had no, like, cleansing or toothbrushes yes, or things no. like that. So they were, like, dirty. So it gave me sort of that realism of that time period. Yes. Except for Cameron Diaz. She had beautiful teeth. She's a little stained, but she had beautiful teeth. I like some of the themes behind the movie. Immigration. Yeah. The natives versus the Irish immigrants coming. Yes. Um, which, again, is still relevant to today. Right. So when a story can tell you about a time that makes you reflect on today's stories or today's ongoings i that captures my attention that makes me plus, raise my points plus you can learn about history when when somebody young i mean it was brutal it was violent mm -hmm. bill the butcher was violent and of course boss tweed in the background was so dishonest new york was so corrupt back right. then she's kind of like you know now? <laughs> yeah right oh come on you know it actually was historically not that inaccurate you know the old movies where they had horses going down the street and there was no horse manure right there was no mud trails for wagon mm -hmm. wheels. This one made you feel the viscerality of the horrible time. So do you think it should have won an Academy Award? Because it was nominated for 10, <laughs> yeah. won zero. Chicago swept the Oscars. And I'm a I, musical I don't get that. person. I did I not like okay. the film. I'm with you on that. I didn't like Chicago. I think it's because the Academy people love something safe. They mm -hmm. like something I, I, that I is a, a Casper Milk Toast white bread material. <laughs> And I think that the Chicago pick was just awful. I thought it was a weak year for the that. Oscars. Yes, I, I agree with you on that. Daniel Dade Lewis, should yeah. he have received? What did you think? Adrian Brody won. Do you think he deserved it for the piano? You know what's interesting? I saw the piano many years ago. Oh, the piano. I saw the pianist. Yeah, the pianist. The pianist. <laughs> Not the penis, the pianist. Yeah, the pianist. Many years ago, I liked it. But now comparing Adrian Brody to Daniel Dade Lewis, I would have no. given it to Daniel Dade Lewis. Yeah. Exactly. Once Upon a Time in America, they're different time periods, mm -hmm. but they're still gang related. They're still uh, ensemble casts. Right. The other one is The Many Saints of Newark, which is mm -hmm. really interesting. And a lot of I people don't know that. about that, but it's a good film. And I'm a so big soprano And fan. then we're also going into March, The Irishman. And not, I didn't like The Irishman that much, but it's just the film that's like in the same really? realm. Okay. Well, I, it's another long one. I don't mind long. Really? <laughs> I do not mind long if they're interesting. Guys. But if you watch your watch, during a film, you know that it's too long. But this movie was a little long. And for today's modern audience, 247 is a very long time for people. Right? It's to keep their attention, especially nowadays. Yeah. You, know, you could barely get a minute worth of content to get people to watch. Exactly. So how are you going to keep them watching for two But this had a huge years. cast. It was cast well. Um, I think also, let me just check it because I know I, this was very significant. Um, Dante Ferretti did the production design. Now, you didn't like that. Yeah. No. But I did. And he did Sweeney Todd, which was the musical that Johnny Depp Thank did. Thank you, because that's reminding me of a musical. It like did. That. It looked like, like a fairy tale. Right. Like you said, Universal Studios or a Disney, Disney. set. Mm -hmm. But in a way, I kind of like that. Yeah. You don't like that? But yeah, I think one movie you might like is Cabrini, because it takes place in the same period of time. Actually, a little bit later when is the Italian... Is it black and white or...? It's not black and white. Okay. Uh, it's from Angel Studios. It's about Mother Cabrini coming from Italy okay. and going to the five points section of New York. Okay. And dealing with some of the same atrocities to the 
you know, underserved. Here you're taking a book, uh, the original book that was actually 1928, mm -hmm. if you remember correctly, um, and making it into a movie. Love it. But now when they rehashing old stuff. Um, right, exactly. Because they can't think of anything else to do. Well, it's because the executives are not movie makers. They're green lighting things mm -hmm. because they don't have any originality in their right. thought process. Nothing left. And it's just... Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, no. It's the gong. Oh, my God. Wrap it up, God. Deb. Wrap right. it up. I want to say one thing about Jenny. When she says they're going to go to San Francisco, uh -huh. I thought that was so interesting. And they took the circuitous way with the map mm -hmm. because there were no trains yet. The Gilded Era was when Vanderbilt and all those people put the trains in and laid the tracks with the Chinese the immigrants. Yes, OK. Tracks. Chinese. Here we go. Okay. Another inaccuracy of the film. The Chinese community really didn't grow yes. in that area of the five points until after the connection of the trains. So you they inaccurately no correct, they, you, they inaccurately portrayed a growing big Chinese population in the gangs in New York. Yes. And one of my issues. So I'm not changing you my review. You taught me something this time, darling. So that bring your score down then? Are you changing Absolutely yours? Absolutely not. Tough. I'm staying with my father. Yeah, you stay Triple with Triple D's, baby. You Triple too. D's with Daniel Day-Lewis. My Ocho. Okay, my eight. And that's the way we look at it. And that's our review this week. Everybody. Deb and Joe. Yep. The real watch the list. The real watch list. Subscribe, like, and, and please engage and tell your friends. Tell your friends. It we helps need us people. out. We need sponsors, help us. All right. Till next time. Diving. And our next outfit and our next film. Dead men Time to march. Dead the gangs are coming. The gangs are coming. The bridal girl gangs are coming. Soup. That's it.